maybe things are not really set equally, but I think when you are increasing diversity, you got to make sure that script is good. I think that's very important because you know now people are going to correlate the two and they think, oh, as diversity gets more, then the stories are going to get worse. And you can't let people think that. Star Wars fans who don't like the new diverse Star Wars series might be problematic. At least that's what this study says. And now the internet's going nuts. These are some big accusations. This is very controversial. I mean, there was a study in the psychology of popular media. And basically, Andrew, they were saying that people who don't like Finn, Rose, and potentially even Ray might be more likely to agree with race racist and sexist statements mm. or statements like uh, ethnic minorities demand too much for equality. Right. Okay. Things like that. I, obviously, we don't really know who paid for this study. Some people suspect it was Disney, but I don't know, guys. Anyways, we're going to go into the comments section. We're going to give you our takeaways because this whole conversation, it is almost like a proxy conversation for everything else. But let's keep it Star Wars for now, guys. Hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Of course, there was a variation, Andrew. A lot of Star Wars fans that came out to defend themselves. Some people were 50-50. Some people were like, yep, Star Wars fans are racist. That's why they didn't like it. Well. But the main comment was defending themselves, being like, nope. No, no, no. You're not going to call me an ist. You're not going to call me a sexist. You're not going to call me a racist. We don't like the Gen 3 Star Wars movies because they suck and the writing is bad and the characters are whack. Yeah, I think objectively speaking, even as an Asian guy who is not really well represented in Star Wars, minus Donnie Yen, uh, in the newest Star Wars, I would say that I didn't like these movies. I didn't like any of these Star right. Wars movies. And it's not because of I have something against the characters, obviously. It was literally the stories and the characters that just weren't interesting. No, the dialogue is kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah and just, they, they weren't captive, written, written ca in but, a captivating but, way. But, 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 Andrew, does that completely absolve the Star Wars fan base potentially of the 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 level of the hatred that they levied against the characters oh. and potentially even the actors themselves? No, for sure. For sure, there are some racist Star Wars fans. Listen, most Star Wars fans, I would assume, are mostly male. Right. And so like Probably white males. Yeah. So there is the there is always like this undertone of possible like sexism. Right. Where they're like kind of like, well, I don't know. But at the end of the day, the script was bad, man. Right. Does that murky up the argument of the, the, the study? Because if the movie was so bad, now it's like you don't know if there's correlation or causation. And maybe even those fans themselves, they're so triggered, uh, you know, they don't even value the diversity. Yeah. So they're like really hating it. They're, they're like doubling down. Yeah, the way I look at it is like from an Asian guy perspective, right? It's like, I think I already accepted that Star Wars movies were going to be like a white hero. Like, I was okay as long as they were great movies if the white guy was in the lead. Right. That was just a white universe. That yeah, that was just, <laughs> yeah, it was just a white guy who's the normal person and everybody else is an alien, right? And some of the aliens are even based off of, like, old ethnic stereotypes in a weird way. So, obviously, like, I think it's just, like, as long as it was really good, you'd be like, I'll take the white hero. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. It's Hollywood. Uh, we're the movies. Nemoidians. Yeah. I get it. That's how you see us. Um, Jamaicans so I, are Jar Jar Binks. So I think just changing... All the characters, the gender, and then there's a black guy. Oh, now there's a white girl, and then there's an Asian girl at the helm of it. And then the movie being bad, it almost correlated yeah. the two. That's I, what people think. It's I could see it being causing a lot of cognitive dissonance for the old legacy fan base. Somebody said, hey, guys, how can Star Wars fans be racist if we loved Lando Calrissian in the original 1980s series? And we actually really liked Mace Windu in the Gen 2 series as well. So how can you call us racist? Those were side characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Not true. the main character. But also, uh, I think objectively speaking, those were cool characters. Yeah. Come on, you're talking about Samuel Jackson yeah. and then uh, the older actor. I don't know who played Like we Lando. said, guys, He's it's cool. complicated. I get it. Lando Calrissian was more organic diversity. Um, you know, I guess... How do you think that this audience views like forced diversity? Because I would say more minorities that are not as invested in the Star Wars franchise, they're just happy to see it, even though they acknowledge that the third gen movies weren't that good. Whereas other people are like, the diversity ruined everything. Yeah, I think that it just sucks because what happened was diversity went up and then the quality went down. So people correlate those things as being connected even when they shouldn't be. There is in a world a possibility, obviously, and we've seen it before, how diversity can 
not hurt the quality of the product, yeah. if not even make it, be, make it better. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I do think the problematic part is when the fan base is like, oh, John Boyega and Kelly Marie Tran should never work again. They were so bad in this. Right. Whereas like John Boyega himself was like, hey guys, I get it. My character was not very interesting, was kind of bland, but that's just the way they wrote it. I, as an actor, all I can do is read the script. Yeah, I think obviously, you know, you're the face, you're the actor, you're going to get a lot of the glory if the movie's good and you're also going to get a lot of the bashing if it's bad. But I thought that the outrage, which happened years ago um, against Kelly Marie and John Boyega, I was I would say that that was stepping into the lane of like, yo, Star Wars fans are, and I'm not saying these are all Star Wars fans, right. but I was it like, was you guys are a vocal minority, like maybe the 15% yeah, or 10 you guys go to OD because I, I feel like they see that as like a treasure. And when you change the treasure, that legacy up, then people feel like it's almost like white history is being erased. I like I, that's almost like what it sounds like sometimes. Of course, there was a lot more comments saying, "Yep, yep, yep." The fan base was clearly racist, and other people being like, "Disney paid for the study. They're just trying to make us look bad because nobody liked the movie, and all the critics panned it." Um, of course, guys, we could just keep looking at different, uh, you know, reactions on the internet forever. But doesn't this ultimately come down to money, Andrew? Like a lot of people are betting on diversity for several reasons, right? I think diversity or quote unquote, as the, the anti-woke crowd calls it, like box checking. That's for two reasons, right? One, because people think it's a moral imperative after Hollywood has been like white dominated for 100 years or at least like the global media narrative has been right. Mm -hmm. And then number two, people think it's good for business. But I guess as a, if I was a legacy, fan base and I was an older person maybe I don't care about either of those things yeah I mean I think that a lot of people believe that if the story is good and the character is good that they'll be able to look past it no matter what color or you know creed that they that person comes from however you know you know us I think race and culture still matters on how it's perceived. So maybe things are not really set equally. But I think when you are increasing diversity, you got to make sure that script is good. I think that's very important because you know now people are going to correlate the two and they think, oh, as diversity gets more, then the stories are going to get worse. And you I, can't let people think that. I guess point number two is as we sort of transition away from the cis white male driven everything, whether that's the Oscars or whether that's Star Wars, do you expect this sort of culture war to go back and forth? With Andrew, where you have the legacy fan base, where it's not, I'm not really blaming them, but they're definitely used to be having it portrayed a certain way, and it's drifting away from that, and they're angry. Yeah. I mean, would you say that in certain ways, like in certain arenas, like maybe like the dominant group in everything is not white. You know what I mean? Like, like white people are the dominant group in Hollywood, for example, like white representation, right? right? Media, for example, right, primarily in the Western world, white people were dominant for a long time. But for, for example, the NFL and NBA have been, are black dominated. Yeah, black dominated. And I remember when like Jeremy Lin got, what, two covers on Sports Illustrated, right? Some players didn't like that. Some right. black players, Shaq right? just brought it up like last week. Yeah, and they were saying, and they were making the point, which there is some fair fairness right. to it saying that well because he's asian and because it's rare that he's asian obviously he got the affirmative action right bump Shaq was basically get. saying like jeremy didn't deserve two sports illustrated covers even though he was doing kind of good yeah he wasn't doing that good and he's not that talented to get that right because right. that's only reserved for for great and, great players and i guess the only reason that we point that out is because i guess it's natural for any group that feels like they yeah. have a huge lead or they're the preeminent or the dominant group in anything like if they have a 45 point lead and they feel like it's unfairly getting cut down to 20 points that means that they just got cheated out of 25 points even if they're still up 20. i think the truth is like when you succeed at something or that art really re uh resonates with you you take it to heart anytime something is changed it's an about attack it. on you yeah and any, your identity anytime something is changed about it you feel like it's taking away from you and it's ruining the game it's muddying up the legacy it's changing the and, game and to be fair bro a lot of asians do that with food they gatekeep yeah and, and that's they true. probably Asian, shouldn't they, as to the level that they do it i'm that's not true. i understand a little bit but the, some asians od on I, it. i'm officially not caring if a white person makes dumplings as long as the dumplings are good and they don't say that they're way better than the original <laughs> right. dumplings right as long as you they just don't say the smash burger pot sticker is 
like the best pot sticker ever <laughs> on planet Earth. Um, I guess let's just project this out five years, Andrew. Is this just going to be like a volley back and forth, like pong or like pickleball, where it's like, yeah, here's some diversity because we need to push the society forward. I'm Hollywood, boom. And then the legacy fan base is like, we don't like it, but I don't have any space to express myself except the internet. Ah, boom. Well, I think maybe you could look at the Star Wars series, that series that didn't do well, those three movies. I would say maybe you could look at them as a learning experience for everybody. Like that's a case study. So that moving forward, guys, like, hey, j just because we increase the diversity, that doesn't make it a better movie automatically, right? right? We still have to make sure the story is tight, you know, and the script is dope. You know, like, uh, I think, for example, if they switched James Bond into Idris Elba and made him black, you know how, like, there was some talk about that? Right. I actually think that would still work because he's still British, right? Yeah. Why couldn't he be black, right? And I right. think Idris is an amazing actor, so he could do it too. So that is actually a switch to a legacy story that actually might be interesting, you know? Right, absolutely. Like we said, guys, I get there are valid arguments on all sides. Of course, coming from my perspective, I'm not like a Star Wars legacy gatekeeper type person myself, so I valued them making Finn and Rose in it. I thought that was cool, especially to see Kelly Marie Tran as a Vietnamese woman playing that. Did I love those movies and those characters? Nah, they could have been way better, to be honest. But anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Like we said, uh, I think we looked at it pretty uh, fairly and intellectually honest. Yeah, I think part of, uh, to one last thing, I think part of why this study is out and people are talking about it, because it, it does kind of reinforce the stereotype that a lot of Star Wars fans are kind of like uh, those angry dudes on the internet, the spin rails. The Pindells. Right. The ones that look like possibly the comic book man in uh, The Simpsons. And of course, maybe that same crowd came out against everything everywhere all at once saying they won the woke Oscars and stuff like that, whether they, you know, you agree that they're deserving or not. We're not, throwing Star, I'm for them regardless. we're not throwing Star Wars fans under the bus. I do think that there's just a lot of angry people on the internet that yeah. comment and racist things, period. Every fan base has a distribution of different types of people, just like society. Until next time. Anyway, guys, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.